This is King Bolan S608 and this is for system scanner so this should be similar to ThinkScan 662. And it is not full system, it is for system so you can scan engine, transmission, ABS and body. So we will test it out on this Tuareg because here I have automatic transmission so we can test if it can scan all four systems. And literally I just got it so I can also show you first setup. Now I like this four system scan tools from King Bolan, Mucar, I think Top Zone uses the same hardware and there you can control with both touch screen, but you also have these control buttons. So I will select English as my language and hopefully I don't have to download any software. I will just try hook it up and maybe it will work without downloading any updates. Okay, I can hear the beep, so we are connected. Let's turn on ignition. Not sure about how good my battery is here. We have that car, shit. Okay, I have to drink battery charger. If you want new obd to scanner but you don't know which one is the best, go to my website obd to scanner guide. It is linked in description and there you can filter best obd to scanners by car brands, type or features you need. And all this I made after years of testing hundreds of different obd to scanners. And if you are even unsure which obd to scanner type is for you, you can download my free PDF and that will explain differences and help you understand which scanner is for you. Hopefully it will work now. So let's go to Diagnose. This is actually looking very similar to King Bolan K7. Let's do Volkswagen. Not sure why my engine fan is on, but whatever. Let's do Health Report. So we are already connected. Now scanning this Tuareg always takes long time. Now we have only four modules to scan, but I can imagine it is pretty hard because we have still low battery voltage, only about 10 and something volts. So that is probably slowing it down, but all the scanners are very slow for this Tuareg, even with good battery voltage. But for most cars, I think it will be more quick. But it couldn't find transmission module and we definitely have automatic transmission. So not sure if this is issue of my voltage. Maybe we'll have to update Volkswagen software after all. But it was able to scan brakes and it should scan body module as well. No, sorry, no body module, airbag module, yeah. Okay, so we have engine scanned, we have ABS scanned, we have airbag scanned. Now I'm not sure if in the intro I said that it is for system scanner for... These four systems are engine transmission, ABS and airbag. I think I said body instead of airbag. So yes, it was able to scan these systems, but I'm not sure why it cannot scan our transmission because there is definitely a module for that if you have automatic transmission. But first let's check what it can do. I'm not even sure if this is supposed to be bidirectional, so let's enter some system. Because of course if it can scan those systems, it will be able to read live data, you can read codes for these single modules, but I think it should be also bidirectional inside these modules it can scan. We can check that out. I'm getting some failures. Okay, let's do this first. I will connect to internet and we can check if there is some update for Volkswagen. But if I have to bet, I would say that there is problem of my battery voltage and it cannot communicate properly with my transmission module. Okay, I have connected to my hotspot. So let's go to this upgrade tab and we will look for Volkswagen update. Volkswagen download. Okay, so we didn't have Volkswagen up to date. So we will try to upgrade and then we can try one more time. Okay, update is finished. So let's try doing it one more time. I think we can now log with this history. Yeah, Volkswagen quick entry. How is our battery voltage? Oh, it is dropping for some reason. Probably because engine fan is running. I don't know why. But let's try one more time. Yeah, it has trouble because the voltage is too low. Okay, I was hoping this would turn off engine fan, but no. Okay, I think we will not be able to scan right now, because already, check this out, <laughs> battery is too low when I try to turn on ignition. Yeah, this is battery almost completely dead. Okay, let's go to another car. Okay, so we will try on this E46 because Tuareg is dead again. Let me connect cable. Okay, we are connected. Now I am not sure if we can 
do this without downloading BMW software, but let's try it. But here we have manual transmission, so we will not be able to scan transmission. But at least I want to check if it is bidirectional, what service resets we have, languages, all of that, that you probably want to know. So let's try doing automatically search. Probably will not work because I have been playing with this MuCar already and they basically share software and MuCar wasn't able to detect VIN number. But this can apparently. Okay, great. So we can go next and let's do health report. So apparently there are some differences because this King Ball and MuCar, DollarFix, Fincar, basically all the scanners look the same. So I'm pretty sure the share software, probably from launch, because it is looking very like launch interfaces. But even with shared software, you can expect some differences. Like with this cheaper scan tool, I am able to detect VIN number automatically and this more expensive wasn't able to do it. There are a lot of these little differences, even between scan tools from basically same brand or similar brands. Here we don't have transmission, so it should only scan engine, ABS and airbag. I can at least check codes in my ABS because sometimes I have my stabilization light on without reason so there will be probably some faulty ABS sensor okay so we have our fault codes in engine we have a bunch of fault codes for glow plugs kind of makes sense because with cold engine it takes longer to start than I would like and we have ABS ABS pressure sensor and some voltage is dropping also code in airbag so we have basically all scanned modules faulty. Right now I see that it can also scan steering angle sensor module. So even though this is presented as four system scanner, maybe for some cars there will be some additional modules it can scan like in this E46. Okay, so let's go inside some module and I want to check if it is also bidirectional. And yes, okay, because I wasn't sure. So this is bidirectional scanner. So you can also use these actuation tests for example, now here, how many tests you will see, that depends on your car. So for this E46, it knows only two of these tests in engine. So we have fuel pump active. Stop. And we can activate our engine fan. Yeah, it is already turning on. Not sure if you can hear that, probably no. You will have to trust me and I will hit stop because I don't want to end up like in Tuareg with low battery. Okay, that is good. So in every module, we can also read this module information, bunch of data about my control module, part number, stuff like that. We can read fault codes only for this system. If there are some freeze frame data, which there is not, because I cannot click it, here I could check freeze frame as well. And then like with most of these scanners, you can also search for more information. So there is some more information. And if that is not enough, because basically it is not saying anything for this code, you can even do Google search and it will take you straight to Google. Okay, and it filled out for me BMW fault code and also fault code meaning. And also we can use these controls so you can use both touchscreen but also these built-in buttons. And then of course we can read live data. You can do select all. Battery voltage. <laughs> Wait a second. 9.6 volts. I hope that it is lying to me. Let's test it out. If this doesn't start, I am stuck here. Okay, great. Okay, so good news. Scanner doesn't lie. Bad news. I am stuck in my garage now. Now there was little battery charge left, but I just used it all trying to start. So now this will stop working as well. But we already checked basically everything it can do. One more thing I want to check. First I will unplug it because these scan tools they are also charging directly from OBD port. So when you are connecting it is charging. Now usually that is good thing because you don't have to charge your scanner that often. But if you are using it on low battery it will help you drain your battery faster. But now what I wanted to check are service resets. So what service resets we have in this scan tool. So you got ABS bleeding, battery matching, brake pad reset. DPF regeneration, throttle body adaptation, gear learning for automatic transmission, injector coding, oil reset, steering angle reset, so nine service resets you can use. And those are basically most important. Most I am using is this brake pad when I am changing pads on your car, DPF regeneration and oil reset and also battery matching sometimes. And then for languages we can also check that. So let's go to settings, language and these are languages you can use. So we got 
German, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Russian, Polish, Turkish, Dutch, Hungarian, Chinese, Korean, Greek, Slovak, Romanian, Arabic, Croatian, Slovenian, Finnish, Czech, Swedish, Danish, Persian, Serbian, Vietnamese, Bulgarian, a lot of languages you can choose from. Although in this scan tools, those translations are not always on 100%, so you can have maybe something is translate and then something that cannot be translated will be still in English. It is at least like that if I try to select my language. Okay, so yesterday my battery died, so I am here again. This is also good to mention, I have only 6% of battery, but I don't have to worry because I have cable, so it is charging directly from my car. That's why I honestly prefer to have tools with cable, because I don't like charging my scan tool often. So let's go back. I don't even remember what I was trying to do, but I know that we haven't checked live data, so I want to see that. I have my engine running, so we can go, we can connect, go to engine and check through some live data. And check this out, it is actually scanning more modules than yesterday. Yesterday I was surprised that we have the electronic power steering. Okay, okay, my bad, we don't have electronic power steering, but we have the steering angle sensor module. But I want to go to engine. Now this report, everything is the same, like, oh shit, I misclicked. <laughs> well, okay, I cleared all fault codes on accident. At least I can have car without check engine light. Maybe for one hour. And clearing faults apparently takes some time too, but usually that is normal with other scan tools as well. Okay, but now it is already too long. Usually if it's like clearing fault codes, 30 seconds or one minute that is expected, but this is now taking too long. Already two minutes and we have only few modules to clear. Okay, I will just try to end it. Now you probably already have seen this, that if you try to interrupt scan tool during scanning or clearing faults, you can click on stop, but usually it either does nothing or you have to wait another like 10 seconds and then it will stop. But so far it hasn't done anything. How about go back? Okay, this works. But also I have to wait a long time. But I know it is not easy to make lightning fast scan tool because most scanners act in same way. You know what, let's just end diagnosis. We can connect one more time. History, BMW, here, quick entry. Here I cannot choose system I want to scan, so we have to do health report one more time. It would be better if we have option to choose one single system, because I would like to go inside engine only. I don't want to scan the whole car again, but apparently I have to. Okay, full scan is finished, so finally we can check some of the live data. I want to search if there is something related to my fuel injectors, but we don't have much here. This is, of course, depends on car, so we have only this fuel rail pressure. And then, of course, like with all new cars, King Bolens, Lounge, Scanners, this is same, so you can do the samples, you can do graphs, you can do four graphs at once, so that is basically same, like all of these scanners. For example, I can select four parameters, and now I can do graphs for each. Or then you can also combine these values into one graph, of course. So yeah, for these four systems, it can be useful. Honestly, I am not a big fan of these four system scanners, because you pay like 150 or 200 dollars for scanning four or five systems and a couple of service resets, but I rather would choose either smartphone scanner if I don't want to spend much, and then I can actually get full system scanner for even cheaper than this, or then go with better scan tool that has coding, more service resets. This is like not bad, but I don't really see a point in choosing for system scanners when we have so many options to get full systems for cheaper. But if you work mostly on older cars, scanning, engine, transmission, airbag, and ABS is basically everything you need, so for older cars it can be fine, for newer cars I would go with full system definitely. Now we can also do quick test on my Nissan and we will do auto search, hopefully it can find VIN number. 
Okay, so it's not able to detect the number from this Nissan, so I will just have to select Nissan. And here we can try doing automatically search. Okay, but it also wants VIN number, so let's just do manually select. For this Nissan, no matter which diagnostic tool I connect, it always asks for country. So this is also a good thing to remember that most of the stuff you see in your scanner is very dependent on which car you are scanning, not as much on which diagnostic tool you are using. And this is car from Switzerland, Micra K12 2002, and now we can do health report. So here on this Nissan it is fairly quick, 30 seconds and it is already scanning last module, at least trying to communicate with, with transmission module, which I don't have because I have manual transmission. So now scan is finished and these are systems that are actually in my car, engine, ABS and airbag. Let's try going into airbag. But we cannot see module information, but at least we can see some data. But for every value and name, these are, this looks like only some placeholder values, which is interesting. Not sure why I am seeing this. Wait, let's try a different module. We can do ABS to see if it can display live data. So ABS, mm. I'm not sure which I have. Let's just try this one. Okay, so here we already can see data. Let's do all signals, select all. So now I can see all of the data from ABS module. Then if I go back, we can also do actuation tests, ABS motor, for example, and it even lets me to choose live data I can watch while I am doing this test. So I selected random values, okay, but it says we didn't meet some conditions. Check vehicle condition, so maybe you must do this with engine on, but right now I will be not starting inside garage. Okay, let's go to engine. I want to see if we will be able to do at least some bidirectional tests. Actuation tests, so now we are in engine, let's do cooling fan. Execute. Select test item. Oh, okay, I have to select like this. So now we have selected low speed. Now try execute. Okay, this works. And turn it off. Wait, I probably have to turn it off manually. Off, execute. Okay. Now it's finished. So you also have to close this bidirectional test manually, not just go back from this module. So for this Nissan, apparently only doing these tests in engine works properly. Before I also saw this option to CAN network diagnosis. So I want to check what is that. But I guess this is only system scan, so it will scan for modules I have in car. But since this is only for system scanner, so it will probably only show three modules. Yeah, so this is basically same like health report. It will just scan these four modules. And yeah, so that is basically it for Nissan. It's not bad. Could be better with that bidirectional tests. Like in that ABS module, I was trying to use bidirectional testing and it says conditions not met, but it would be better if the scanner can tell me which conditions I have to complete so I can use these tests. But in engine, we could use bidirectional tests and we could scan all four modules, at least three out of four modules it can scan. So that is pretty good.